Hello everybody. So today we're at a functional fitness gym. We're gonna talk to the owners and trainers here and hear a little bit about their journey and their story. Really excited, we're in Pasadena, California and we're gonna go in and meet the owner right now of Bridge Performance. So hello, Amy. Hi, Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for letting us come in and uh, hear your story. My and pleasure. Get a vision of your uh, space here. And you have a, a, a co-owner, Astrid, mm -hmm. who's going to be joining us soon. Yeah. They're joined by Astrid as well as Amy. And they both own Bridge Performance, which is a functional gym. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the gym and, and why you're doing this. Um, well, it started Astrid and I met when we were working together at a different gym. Um, I had just left my full-time job as a physical therapist in a hospital. Um, I worked in the ICU and the stroke units and got kind of bored with it. So really um, physical therapy was kind of your, your yep, entrance yep, into this world. Yep, Astrid has a different <laughs> beginning. <laughs> Do, yes. I, uh, I started out as a strength and conditioning coach. Uh, living up in the Bay Area. I was living in Santa Cruz for about five years and then um, my family's from LA. And um, one of the one of the things that I've always had a hard time with with the fitness industry is that there's not enough of a link to wellness and health. So um, my approach had always been more of like a kind of strength focused, health focused uh, approach to fitness. Um, and so when I met Amy and we started talking about, you know, how we could make fitness better, uh, it really became kind of a blend of Amy's physical therapy background and my strength and conditioning background um, instead of just kind of throwing like a bunch of random workouts at people. Yeah. And so uh, we really were um, drawn to, to fitness by like, hey, this could actually change people's lives. Believe that we can, we can just affect change not only like physically, but also like, you know, that's hundreds of hours of like, hey, you're doing a really good job. Or like yeah. hundreds of hours of like, hey, like if you tweak this, like this all of a sudden becomes like pain free or like moves way easier or like, hey, look at you, you're getting stronger. And like that has like compounding effects that go just beyond the, the well, physical. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the research is all saying now that, you know, cardio is not enough. Right? You That's actually true. need physical resistance training yeah. to, to, you know, for your bone and your, your, yes. your, just your whole system to be healthier, even your mind, right? Yeah. yeah. Fitness is really as close as you come to an anti-aging <laughs> anything. Yeah. 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 I've heard that, uh, um, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts of Huberman. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> kind of look like him. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a human bro, although maybe you know, <laughs> it's not just about the looks. Correct. Right. Yeah. Right. It, I mean, that's maybe a benefit, a nice yeah. benefit of it. But yeah. if that's your main uh, goal, maybe that's not going to sustain you uh, right. over a long time. So right. you both mentioned that you were working together at a previous gym. Mm -hmm. So what brought you to, it's kind of a scary thing to start your own business and be totally self-reliant. So yeah. talk to us about that. Well, Astrid suggested that, um, hey, why don't we, I want to own a gym and I want, I want to own a gym with you. And at this point, I was on the tail end of a five-year cancer journey, actually. Oh, that's, that's a big deal. Talk so, to us about that. How did... Yeah, I was. I, I guess you're free. Of <laughs> I I am. I'm two years That's cancer awesome. free, which is great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, I was I had just kind of come out of really life altering treatments, and um, I was exploring. Gosh, what do I want my career to look like moving forward? And I don't want to go back to working at a hospital, um, but how can I incorporate fitness? How can I benefit my fitness community with my job? And um, so that really interrupt, yeah. like, changed the course of your yes, because I was I probably and I've I've said to Astrid before, like if I hadn't had cancer, I would still be at the hospital. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, but definitely leaving the security of a full-time job at a hospital with a salary and is like a really big move. I became a you know head coach at this gym, and um, just kind of fundamentally uh, 
you know, I, I wanted to do something different than what was being offered there. But we never wanted to own a gym. No, we just she didn't want to own a gym. I'd never even <laughs> yeah. thought of it as a possibility. We just wanted to like shift culture and and do things a little differently. And finally, when the pandemic hit, it just kind of dawned on me like, no, we actually have something that's totally different that we want to be doing that doesn't and fit. And I was like, well. I'm a physical therapist. Physical therapists don't own gyms. <laughs> That's not what that looks like. Yeah. But the owner of the gym that we were managing decided to move to Texas. We tried to buy it. The deal fell through. Oh. And we found ourselves two years ago, the week before Thanksgiving, fired. Interesting. And, That's a motivator. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, well, we could go to our like respective industries yeah. and get normal jobs yeah. and kind of leave the dream or we could just kind of double down and mm -hmm. like try to see if we could find a space finding a space after the after lockdown was amazingly challenging really um there yeah all these spaces that were there were all up. these spaces but landlords were terrified uh, yeah. so we are fitness was deemed a risky industry and we were a startup, which is like two strikes against you. Right. And then we're also, we've never been business owners before right. with no business owner experience. So there's sure. three strikes. <laughs> so no real estate broker would let us talk to a landlord because we felt like we had a good product. Yeah. We felt like we had a good business model in mind, but we couldn't even get access to landlords. We, um, we joked about wanting a building with exposed brick. We That's wanted, beautiful. I mean, it's a retail, too, it's yeah. a retail building but it has like these industrial kind of notes Features, that yeah. make it like very, I don't know, warm, but gym friendly at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Um, so we have a great relationship with our landlord, which is a huge, huge piece to, sure. I think our success really. Yeah. Um, he believes in us and he wants us to succeed. So yeah. um, that you two can't scale your sales. You can't mm -hmm. make copies of yourselves. Mm -hmm. So as this grows, yeah. what's the strategy? Yeah. I mean, we're like our kind of, something that we saw initially was that um, our group fitness model would kind of be the central, our like bread and butter offering. And then we wanted always to have people kind of come alongside and then kind of own different niches, different okay. specialties, and be able to really take those ideas and run with it. Yeah. Um, so like we have a senior strength program that my mom coaches. Nice. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, so like that's something that we want to kind of have grow. We want to be the senior fitness base in now, Pasadena. Was, was she a She's trainer? also a physical therapist. A physical therapist, okay. Yeah, so she retired and we were like, mom, <laughs> don't you really just want to coach at my gym? It's just been something that she's been able to just find so much joy and life in, awesome. um, getting to kind of address her peers. And they respond very differently to her than they do to me. Yeah. Telling them, hey, lift this. Right. Like, when, I, when I tell them, they're like, they're like, you've got to be kidding. Yeah. When she tells them, they're like, oh, OK. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's been, be that's right? been a good like, thing. You might be mm -hmm. 30 years their, their junior or something. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then we I'm also. No assumptions about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, we also have. Uh, we did uh, almost a year ago, just under a year ago, hire an employee who has his own special skills different from Astrid and myself that were kind of fostering and having okay. him hopefully then create more like specialties okay. as far as. He's a kettlebell certified coach and he's got some other mobility related kind of certifications. So we're trying to get that developed. So we want not necessarily to need to replicate ourselves, but we do want for um, the business to really have a life of its own. Yeah.